Hello, this is John Calvert, and this will be a quick tutorial on setting the default font in Smart Notebook. Setting the default font is a useful thing to do because the, the regular default font is Times New Roman. And Times New Roman is what's called a serif font. If you look at the font, it has all these little wingdings on the ends of all the lines. That makes for a classy looking font, but also a visually busy font. So at a distance, students in the back of the room will have a harder time reading something like Times New Roman than, say, a sans serif font like this Zaner Blouser manuscript font, or Arial, for instance. So it's nice to be able to click into your screen and start typing on your test, uh, start typing on your, your text boxes and have a font that you can live with in your lesson so you don't have to go back and change that font every time you start typing something new. And just a quick tip, if you do tap into your screen, the text box will originate right from where you tapped. So you just tap into the screen and start typing on your keyboard. Okay, so let's get to actually setting that default font. What you have to do is select your text tool. So in your toolbar at the top of your screen, you'll see the letter A with the red line underneath it. Select that, choose the first font set, and then click the Attributes tab. Now it's really important that you select that font set because if you don't, you won't see the Text Style button in the Attributes sidebar. Click the Text Style button and set the font that you want to be your default font. So in my case, I want the Zaner Blouser Manuscript font and then choose a nice large font set so those students in the back of the room will be able to see what you write when you just start typing on there. So I'm going to choose 36 point. Now a very critical component to this is clicking on the Save Tool Properties button on the bottom of the sidebar. That will uh, solidify that selection so that every time I click in here it's going to be Zaner Blouser. If I didn't click that Save Tool Properties button then it would only stick one time and after that it would go back to the original font. So I hope that this, this was a useful tutorial and have fun setting those fonts.